than any other show success that I've ever been a part of. You know, Heroes went worldwide and, and, and it, would, it kind of put me above the radar. This was just different. It, um, it gave me hope that people would turn to a story again that's hopeful, um, turn to something that isn't about scandal, isn't about crime, isn't about war, but about something that we all come from and we all experience, which is family. Even if we don't have family, there's the family you're born into, then there's the family that you create through your relationships, your friendships, you know, um, the people you grew up with, and they are as much family as blood is. And having a show like This Is Us just gives me hope that people want to see stories that relate to their own lives and reflect their own lives. And it's, it's just encouraging, it's, it's exciting. It's a, a great time to be a part of a show that is so very simply human. <laughs> It would just be a very, very depressing show if people are just crying all the time or it gets heavy, you know. So <laughs> I think having a light moment, but having, having a moment that, you know, you, you, you don't always want to be heavy and dark. You want to be fun. You want to be enjoying your experience. And laughter is a, a, a massive part. You can absolutely laugh through the tears. And I think that what Dan Fogelman has created with this show is a very real observation of life because even in those dark times you laugh you know it's almost like a an, an, a, an innate response to pain to desperation to hard times you just <laughs> you gotta laugh and hopefully brighten your day because you know sometimes life is just kicking in the teeth all the time <laughs> Playing men that are flawed, and even if their flaws are are not on the surface, they're in there. Um, I think a lot of people had said that Jack was kind of a perfect man, and I thought he was a man doing his best. You know, life and having three kids and babies all the same age, and um, a wife who stays at home with the raising that family, it's got to be a, a large undertaking. And, you know, I, I can't say that Jack has made all the right steps or the right moves, but I think he's done everything with the, the best intention, as well as leading with his heart. You know, um, I think the challenges were always to humanize him, just make him a normal guy, you know, kind of shed whatever I show up, the skin of whatever I show up with as Milo, and let Jack be alive for the moments between that action and cut. <laughs> I mean, the good, the good news is, you know, the scripts that come in, they're, they're so amazing that there's not much I need to seek outside of than the words on the page. But, you know, for me, my father is always the biggest male role model in my life, and I see a lot of similarities to Jack in my own father. <coughs> happy for yourself you can genuinely be happy for someone else and who better to be nominated with than a my television mom and my friend and because her work is so wonderful but she's so deserving just happened to be nominated in the same category and our show wasn't even halfway finished before we got recognition and that was such a big deal and so I feel very honored <laughs> We were like, uh, oh my gosh, it's your television mom. And I'm like, well, I got it from my mom. Like, 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 <laughs> I feel like we'll see like silly stuff like that. But to know Chris Sullivan is to love him. He is charming and hilarious and just so talented. Yeah. And he improvs, he improvises so often and like, you know, because everybody knows he's brilliant and, and so funny, they're like, oh, just riff, just go ahead, do this, do that. And for me, like in the pilot, I don't know how many people know this, but in the um, our first date scene, 
there was one take where he literally was like, uh, got up and he was like, come on, let's go. And it wasn't written, but he wanted us to like bail out on the check. And I sat there like, huh? What, what do I, what do I, what do I do? And I was like, well, let me just naturally react as Kate would. And then it was just so funny because I didn't expect that. He literally got, he like ran through and out the entire restaurant. Like he committed to, to the scene. And I was like <coughs> crying, laughing because that's just Chris. Mm -hmm. But he does silly stuff all the time. And he does a, a couple of things and he says a couple of things that we as a cast now repeat in between takes. And we we're sort of basically mocking him, mocking us, mocking each other. It's very funny. Mm -hmm. Um He's just so much fun, and I just love working with him because he makes me look like I know what I'm doing, <laughs> which is great. Oh, sure. I mean, we're so lucky that the directors or um, wh whoever is, you know, navigating the scenes, you know, are always like, oh, go for it or, you know, we'll get these good takes in and then just do what you guys want to do. So, uh, but yeah, there's times where I'm literally like, we're never going to get to the scene because yes. we're just cracking up <laughs> laughing. Oh uh, no, definitely not. It's not that I had tons of experience, let's be honest. Yeah. I mean, I have some credits but I haven't been in the business for 22 years. <laughs> so, um, well, I have, I've been trying to be in the business for 22 years, um, but no, this is so enjoyable on so many different levels. I think it's not so much change, You're, there's constantly something to learn. You know, you think about your own experience in life, there's no script to what your day is going to be. You have a schedule, you have a calendar to keep you up, business meetings that you know you're gonna hit, or friends, you know, plans with friends, but you never know what's gonna happen. So I think the idea is that you never quite know what's going to happen with your own life. If you apply it to a storyteller perspective, it's you can go in a lot of different directions. And the good news is we have amazing writers, a great boss that is tracking the, the the forward movement of every single character, you know, all of us, all of us. Yeah. So. Yeah, but I think you can expect so many um, beautiful backstories and really getting to the depths of each character. Mm -hmm. And as far as the kids and their childhood and how that shaped them as adults and more of uh, delving just deep into those relationships and uh, discovering some things that we don't know and you don't know yet. Um, and I don't want to give anything away, but... You're so much better answering this question. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to uh, you, you gotta you gotta tune in because there's... If you thought this was good, <laughs> just wait. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. <laughs>